Welcome to Tailoring for the Visual Learner. I'm Renee Berthelet, and I'm here with my suit model, Harrison Koiwai. Today, we're going to be looking at some alterations you might encounter in your first fitting. There are several areas that we are going to assess as alteration points. The side seam, the shoulder seam, the back darts, and the style lines. These tension lines that you see here are called drag lines, and you can usually visually follow them to find out where the alterations need to take place. As you can see, this vest already has a fit issue in that we can't close the center front of the garment. One of the most important things is to keep the center front and center back lines where they belong. In order to get the front to close, we'll need to open the side seams. First, I'll close up the center front. Place the left side over the right and pin through your center front lines vertically. Here you can see the center front lines are veering off towards the side. I'm going to continue pinning vertically in order to create a new center front line. To address the side seam, fold the vest front over the vest back seam allowance. Smooth out any drag lines and allow the fabric to lie smoothly. Let the fabric tell you where it needs to go. Next, we'll deal with the tension lines at the shoulder. Be sure to hold your scissors quietly rather than brandish like a small weapon. Open the shoulder seam, rearrange the fabric, and lay the back seam allowance over the front. Clip into the neck seam allowance if there is still tension. Now we can look at the back of the vest and make some design choices. Depending on how fitted you'd like the vest, you can finish it either with a belt or darts. First, however, let's set the hem. When setting the hem at the back of the vest, keep in mind that there is usually enough length to cover the waistband of the trousers. To make a dart, pin the excess fabric on either side of the vest. Try to stay equidistant from center back and don't bring your dart any higher than the arm's eye. If you're fitting with a belt, pin it on three inches from the side seams at the waist. This is where they'll be secured later. Pin the pieces together at center back. Now that the vest fits properly, we can reevaluate the style lines. Personally, I think this neck edge is a little bit modest. I like to see more tie. So I'll adjust that and then mark it with my water soluble marker. I also think that these points at the hem are set too close together and are not quite the right shape. I'll adjust those as well. This area of the vest is one of the most important style lines and is usually long enough to cover the belt buckle. Use your water soluble marker to mark both sides of each pin. Double check that all pins are marked on each pattern piece before removing them. Once you've ironed the vest pieces flat again, use these points to even the seams out from side to side and front to back. Once again, remember to keep long lines and beautiful curves. Don't forget to look at the pocket placement and arm size in case you want to change those too. Now that the style lines are adjusted, let's talk about how to get these new marks to your patterns. This process is called truing. It happens after your model has left the fitting room, of course, but here's a quick demonstration to get you started. When your center front line changes, you'll mark the pins on the right side of the vest. Connect these points with a straight line. Your new center front line will be balanced between these two lines and becomes the new straight of grain. Use these new lines to create new patterns or adjust your old ones. Really take your time with this step. If you're nervous about your alterations, go ahead and make a second muslin. The next step is my favorite. We're going to be shrinking the wool. 
Harrison, the next time we see you, the vest will be complete. Thank you so much for coming. Thanks, Renee.